Yo. What's up, everybody? Rich Case 20 here, back with Jonathan Young's 2015 stuff. Today we have 1985 Bowling for Super Cover with Jonathan Young and Travis Cart, as I originally thought it did. I, I didn't think I was losing my mind. Uh, I don't think Travis is screaming in this one, which is very interesting. Maybe I'm wrong. It's very possible. I did, as I mentioned before, technically heard this song once, but that was at least five years ago and I was working out and barely paying attention so don't really remember much to anything if I'm being honest with you so could Travis be screaming in this could he not be I don't know but I don't think he is anyways uh <laughs> yeah uh, I like the original song original video is great it's classic it's almost as classic as Stacy's mom back during this time which was it was a classic song, man. Uh, I haven't heard that song in years, but man, songs were classic back then. They were great videos with great, good stuff. Uh, confident that John and Travis going to do a good job, at least have some fun with it. Sounds like a good time, so let's not waste any more of that time. Bring it on down here. <laughs> and uh, John, what you got for me? Keep 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 those verses energy packed and clean, and I don't think we'll have a problem. <laughs> we'll see what happens. This video was made possible oh, by my supporters okay. on Patreon. Nice. To find out more, download this cover, or visit me on social networks, just check out the links in the description below. Classic. <laughs> Let me bring it back here to some darker screens, so my face isn't lighter than it already is. I don't see much sun. Well, I see it. It's not out in it. <laughs> Anyways. 
Yeah. Okay, so I was right. No screaming on Travis. Though, the great he added in his voice was really nice. We'll talk about that. Uh, yeah. The last two songs. Top Gun. Power Rangers. Flipped it on its head. Completely flipped it on its head. I don't know if it was just the nice trade-off and good uh, range for both Travis and John, but that lack of energy, that kind of monotone, low-toneness, that was just really caking up and slowing down and just really dragging the verses down, completely wiped that problem away. Like, cr- they, they crushed this cover. It was really, it was fun. And they added the, 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 some of the best strengths of both their voices together. I think they did a really smart thing by trading off sections of the verses. It was really great. Travis, when he started uh, the first verse, his, like, his vocal sounded, from what I remember at least, almost identical with the original band. Which was like, dude, his range is perfect <laughs> for this song and then he started to add some great a little bit of growl into uh, just edging into some of his vocals which was just like oh dude that's tasty that's a tasty sound right there like and then they were both singing the chorus together creating a great bounce in their sounds and everything like it was mixed very well like i just stamp all across the board clean cover that was just an absolute clean cover from these guys love it good shit what do i got about now uh so right out the gate here i like the uh i'm pretty sure the guitar in the original plays out the melody yeah it does, it does. yeah yeah it does have a th- some the, the melody in there but i like how much they drove the melody into the guitar at, at the beginning i feel like they they intensified it like it's it's in there but i feel it's kind of like kind of softly going through it in the original but again i didn't rewatch it because i've listened to the song multiple times so like i have a general understanding of the song but i probably should still re-listen to it anyways but it's fine next one um well i mean next one i don't think so we uh, how many times have i heard rudolph red Nose reindeer i don't think i need to revisit that but we'll get there when we get there um <laughs> anyways uh but yeah i feel like they intensified a little bit and i also like the pitch bends that they threw in there as well just kind of had fun with it uh it also has some like solo like some added embellished solo parts to the guitar intro and then the very uh no okay <laughs> I was like, was that thunder? No, I think someone just dragged something heavy. <laughs> something with wheels across the the, dirt, the the rocky dirt path. I was like, is that fucking thunder? I mean, to be fair, that could be thunder. But, but the fact that I kept, I still hear it, like, moving, <laughs> but much distant. I don't think that's thunder. Anyways, that just distracted me. Uh, yeah, some very chunky, uh, strummed uh chords there near the end of it as well really really nice um and then travis comes in with the vocals so let's let's check all of that and uh enjoy this good stuff here bring my sorry <laughs> bring it on back down let's go through this here. Right there, down, 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 down. I love those nice little pitch bins they're adding in there. And again, I feel like, I feel like, in the original, like they have like kind of the same thing that, but I feel like it's much quieter. I feel like just kind of guitar chords and stuff are kind of like dominating the sound a little bit, and you can kind of you can hear the melody kind of like not buried under it, but like kind of. Like, has a little bit more of a distant. In this one, I felt like they were just like, let it just, let this just be the mix. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I don't know if it's just the angle or what, but it looks like 
like the fretboard looks huge. So is that uh, is that more strings than your average guitar? I want to take a guess. Uh, I think it's. I don't think seven string is an average guitar. <laughs> Yeah, six strings. Okay, I thought so. <laughs> I was like, I'm going to say six strings, because that sounds right, right? Yeah, that's a seven-string guitar. Okay. <laughs> uh, that explains some of the very uh, the very interesting sounds coming there, especially from the bends, and there's the kind of little bit higher sound pitch that it has to it. I heard rumbling. I was like, is it going back? <laughs> um, very nice. Very cool. like that. Um, uh, yeah, yeah, I like, I like what they did with the mix, I like that they made this more louder and dominant, at least I believe, for what I can recall. <laughs> love that, da, 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 just this nice little solo that's going on here after the melody line gets played through. Love that. Dig it, 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 dig it. Love that sound. That's a really cool addition they threw on there. And I like that it goes between two notes. Dig it, 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 dig it. That's cool. Yeah, that like that little town that like kind of tone that he has in there. At the kind of like a higher end of his register, not like deep and gritty and growly, but that kind of like I don't even know how to describe that tone, <laughs> that that higher pitch scraggly kind of tone that he's got there. I swear it sounds exactly like the original singer. <laughs> if not, damn fucking close. I love it. I think Travis has the perfect tone and sound quality for this song. It's like a great, great choice here to work with Travis on this one. I guess I could say nasal. Get that kind of nasal sound to it. See, here's, 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 here's the awesomeness of what just happened here. So when Travis comes in, he's he's definitely seeing what sounds like higher up, like closer to his head, nasal passage, kind of getting, kind of having more of that forward kind of aggressive bite to it, and he's just pumping energy in his sound. He's just kind of really like he's giving this like the grunge treatment almost, like he's he's really giving this a lot of that forward aggressive sound and energy and just volume. So if John were to come in with just kind of some lower stuff and, you know, just kind of diddled around with it, it would just, it would have been like, it would have been like, oh, Travis is going, John singing. You know, it would have like really crashed. Uh, but John matches that energy. He doesn't go up exactly as high as Travis does because I think Travis can kind of get into that tenor range a little bit easier than John can. Uh, but I could be wrong. I don't know. Uh, but he matches the energy. He matches the just the pushing of volume that Travis was doing. So he just slides in there smoothly. It, it it's, it's 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 a perfect handoff. Like in a relay race, that's the handoff you're looking for. There, smooth, clean. Love it. I want to get that clean ass transition. Great, great hand up. Nice. Nice trade off again. I also like this this more open strumming with a digga digga coming for the guitar here. I think that's exactly what happened in the original. Uh, I think some of the, the rhythm switch ups, especially in the chorus, they did themselves. Uh, they kind of wrote in themselves, but I think that's taken straight from the. Uh, uh, take, to take a straight from the original, but it sounds really good the way they're doing it with the, kind of like heavier guitaring in here. Love it. Uh, I think. Uh, I think this is. I can't remember when we get to the 
chorus. What part of this is part of the chorus? Uh, but Travis might be pumping some grit in here, if not now, then during the chorus. But also during the chorus, I love that they're both singing at the same time. I really want to check and explore that. And the guitar switch up and the rhythm there halfway through the chorus is also really sick. So let's, let's let it keep going. She was going to be an actress. She was going to be a star. She was going to shake her ass on the hood of Boyce Lake's car. Yeah, it slipped in there right at the end. That little bit of grit and extra just uh, that he put in there right at the end. That's going to start to pretty much be his vocals <laughs> continuing. But like it happens right at the end of the first verse there. She was going to shake her ass on the hood of Weissnick's car. Her yellow SUV is now the enemy. Looks at her average life and nothing has been Yeah, right there. Dan, da, dan, da, dan, da, dan. Like that rhythm switch up that just happens right there. Really fucking cool. Also, don't think it's an original. That's sick. I love that switch up there. Like right at the right at the last like third or not if not half, but like third of the chorus there. Really fucking cool. Um, it's interesting because like you can hear both of their. Uh, it sounds like they're just you know doubling, but with each other's vocal range or something like that. Uh, it sounds like. Well, I say maybe natural overtones. I don't know about vocal range. Uh, but it sounds like they're singing the both the same line, but like John just has a naturally lower voice and uh, Travis just has a naturally higher voice than John, uh, at least when they were singing. So it sounds like, I don't know if they're singing the same line or just parallel octaves. I'm not 100% positive. Uh, but it sounds like they're singing the same thing, just one has a higher timbre than the other. Which is kind of cool. So they're just doubling on the same line, whether it's transposed or not. But at the same time, it sounds like they have a crowd singing. It sounds like they just kind of like spoke, saying the chorus, and like put that, layer that in there a few times to sound like they have a whole crowd singing with them or something like that. It's very fascinating effects that we got on here. So listen for that, as well as that the guitar switch up we just heard the intro there too. It also gives this little extra push of energy at the end of the chorus, which is really fucking cool. I really like that. Also, I remember, uh, I don't know if y'all remember a little, I mean, of course, MTV, sure. They had their they had their countdowns and they had their records and stuff. Sure, they had their music. But y'all remember a little thing, a little site called Fuse. Well, site, TV show. Called Fuse. Channel. Do you remember Fuse? Dog, I remember Fuse. Homie. When I when I was in middle school, it was come home, get myself a hot pocket, because I could eat stuff like that back then. Uh, get myself a hot pocket, sit down, and watch DBZ, because that shit was rolling on uh, on TV. But not DBZ, sorry. Dragon Ball, not DBZ, just the original Dragon Ball. I also need to put that on my list of stuff to watch too. Hold on, let me write that down here. <laughs> um. But once I got to high school, I don't know if it's just because Dragon Ball got off the air. I had seen too much of it or something. I don't know. When I got to high school, you follow me here. It was Fuse Top Countdown Music Videos. That's how I found stuff like Evanescence. Uh, there, was, oh, there was so many. I remember Take Me Out was a big one. My friends, whatever the name of the band is. There was, there was some other ones. Uh, yeah, Milkshake brings all the boys to the yard. That was a big one. That was a big one around there. I did not understand the sexual nature of it. I was too young when that one came out. But <laughs> I, sh I was, I thought it was like both partially sexual, but also like she also just happened to make some bomb ass milkshakes. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, sorry to go off my old guy tangents, but uh. Dude, Fuse was where it's at. If you if you knew, if you were there and you experienced it, you knew. But then all of a sudden, just one day, the music just died on TV. There's no more music on TV. 
I guess the ratings just weren't good enough, man. I remember just watching music video after music video, watching top countdowns and stuff. Like, that was, that was the good shit back then, man. Anyways, uh, is there anything else? Uh, next thing is round 210. Where there's a nice little mini solo in there. And also, I think they're both singing the breakdown. I don't know what the fuck that's supposed to be. Oh, yes, I do. <laughs> I thought it was like an F with a weird checked curve or something. I don't know. Uh, yeah, into a double. Both singing the breakdown section. Uh, with a lot of grit in it. So let's, let's see if this grit introduces itself here in the second chorus or not. <laughs> I love I love the name drops in here. Classic '80s movies. Um, <laughs> Limp Biscuit was. I mean, I assume no. If she was born in the '80s, and it would be two Ks. No, Limp, Limp, Limp Biscuit was hitting two Ks, right? I, I honestly was closer to 2010. Uh, but maybe he was early 2Ks. It's hard for me to remember sometimes. I'm too old. Um, but, yo, I mean, I'm not the hugest Limp Biscuit fan ever. Myself. But, like, I won't lie to you, dude. When, um, uh, uh, when Roland, I think it's just called Roland, not Roland, 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 what? When that song came out, dude, that shit was fire. Like that shit was bumping when it first came out. It, it was so bumping it made you ignore uh, Fred Durst's like really weird high pitched voice that he sings with. Yeah, I'm a biscuit. You know, it kind of makes you not hear that. It was that bumping and awesome. But then once the fame from that died over, he didn't really have much more that he had in this tool of arsenal so he kind of fell off pretty hard uh but maybe i should check some of his stuff out maybe he was crushing with something and i just i just let everyone else uh put him down just make me like okay maybe he's not that cool <laughs> but i won't lie when he came out it was absolute fire but uh duran duran glad you can't i can't hate on duran duran <laughs> anyways mini skirt made of snake skin and who's the other guy that's singing just hear that, that just grit and just tone. Excuse me, he's getting in that voice. It's just, it's just a great sound. I really like. I think it sounds great in the song. When did reality become TV? Whatever happened to sitcoms, game shows, on the radio? Tracy, Madonna, way before Nirvana, there was you two and Blondie and music still on TV. Her two kids in high school. I love that change. Nice little mini cellular. I just, I just love the fast strumming. I love the sound to it all, which of course is being amplified by the very fascinating sound a seven string guitar just has naturally. It's really cool stuff. I love it. I like that it's just like playing through the melody again, but just really fast nee, 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 strum style that's, that's 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 fun that's fun i like that all right breakdown sounds like we're we're cutting a few things a few instruments off here we're getting a little soft with it maybe we'll see what happens right so you can hear both of them but it sounds like travis is just kind of like just like really digging into the grit and almost like almost kind of like sp like sp speak singing like just like really getting in the grit and just doing some like background 
vocal stuff that, you could, that they just snuck in underneath the sound of everything. It's very fascinating. Classic rock. Like, it just kind of has that sound to it. Kind of sounds like he's speaking, but like, they just, it's just, like, it's like he just maybe s- just spoke over the whole line once, and then like went through it again, like just speaking all like really gritty and stuff, and they just kind of spliced that in there underneath everything as well. It's very fascinating. I love the sound. It sounds really good, matching with John's clean vocals. It's just, Really great choices here. Like this, this. <laughs> Stuff, like smart choices like this. Like keep this going throughout the rest of them. When we were almost at the end of t- 2015. I keep it going. Uh... I like that they just, I'm pretty sure continued way longer <laughs> than they did in the original and just like raising the pitch and changing the notes and stuff. That's fun. It's, it's playful. It's fun. I like it. This video. A nice little da na 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 da da. Just like the guitar stop, last line finishes da. Heavy chord hit to end it out. Clutch, good shit right there. Good shit right there. I like that. That's uh, that's on the top stuff of lists of uh, that's on top of the list of stuff that I like. That's what that is. My my tongue is tied like a motherfucker today, but my words are just getting flipped around, and uh, I'm just gonna accept it. It's <laughs> gonna own it. Yeah, that's happening. What of it? Decipher my shit. Figure it out for yourself. You know what I mean. That was good stuff. That was good stuff. Uh, what's coming next? We got some more Evanescence finishing out the end of those albums, but next for Jonathan Young. We got Rudolph, the red ass nose motherfucking reindeer up in this bitch. Let me go find it. Uh, the only uh, oh, okay, he did two. He did two Christmas songs. Uh, twenty fourteen, he did no Christmas songs. At the end of the year, um, none at all, which is very fascinating. Uh, but the second year in, he decided to do at least two, which maybe may, hey, maybe that means something second year doing music on YouTube does two Christmas songs I don't know what's well, correlation or not you, you'd be the judge technically what would be next is I just can't wait to be king which fantastic cover he brings Travis back in to do some nice uh, punk rock vocals and stuff very cool uh, fantastic but unfortunately I've already seen it and heard it so oops uh, good shit though, very good shit there. So next we have Rudolph, the Fred Nose Reindeer, then the One Punch Man opening, parentheses, the hero. Uh, then we got White Christmas and Somebody That I Used to Know, which I really enjoy that song, uh, and hearing potentially another cover of it could be very exciting. So I'm really looking forward to that one. That one's going to be the big one to close it off. But before that, we got two Christmas songs. I mean, it's early January. I mean... Still within the window. And uh, One Punch Man. So. Yeah. Feel good. About those two. I'm not sure about. I mean I was just out of Christmas songs. Finally didn't have to listen to them anymore. But listening to Jonathan Young's version should be fun. Uh, fuck me. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Uh, <laughs> I was trying to get it before the 30 minute mark. But I was too slow. Uh, so yeah, that should be an interesting four songs to close out Jonathan Young 2015 and we can finally move on to other stuff. And then if I'm going to keep mentioning it periodically, I haven't mentioned it in quite a few, um, 
But uh, when we go to 2016, which we probably won't do the whole album, we'll just interject Jonathan Young songs here and there, which will make it go fast enough because we are going to be skipping certain songs and we won't be doing. Uh, like, for example, one like fifth or sixth song in California Girls. Probably skip that one. I'll just watch it in my off time. Just putting that one out there. Just want you to know. Uh, but uh, other ones like Won't Say I'm In Love, Beauty and the Beast, Bad Romance. Uh, we'll definitely be checking those out. One Punch Full will depend on how good the One Punch Man opening is. But we'll we'll find out if we're going to do anime songs or not. No clue. Cool. Anyways, thank you all for joining me. Johnny Young, Travis, thank you so much for the music. It is appreciated. And I will see you all next time.